Hello, sixth graders. I just typed up this particular piece by one of you. It is a, uh, an argument between Sagrado and Simplicio on Magna Carta. And the skill that I'm going to be teaching you today is how to reverse the argument. And this person, I chose their uh, dialogue. Excuse me, hang on. I chose this person's dialogue because they almost did it here. In this particular case, Sagrado asks um, why it is that Simplicio doesn't like uh, doesn't like Magna Carta, and what we're going to do is reverse the argument. Instead of having Sagrado just sure just say right away that the king now does nothing unjust to his lords or his citizens, we're going to let Simplicio make his argument. And we're going to do this. We're going to move Sagrado's piece further down in the argument so that he actually has the chance to ask what it is that he doesn't like. So Simplicio says, I don't like it. Sagrado says, why not? Simplicio says, my town is so small, we only get one representative, so we don't get much of a say in what happens. And what Simplicio is, is complaining about is the idea of proportional representation, which we talked about as one of the things that made Parliament work. So we know that London had the largest number of representatives, and so Sagrado could say, is your town as large as London? And Simplicio is going to have to answer, no, it isn't. London gets three representatives because it's so large. And then Sagrado's argument makes much more sense. So proportional representation makes sure the king does nothing unjust to his lords or citizens because larger places get more say in what the king does. And then Simplicio might ask something along the lines of why should London get more representatives? Why should London get more representatives? And Sagrado can say you have more representation than many towns. And then Simplicio can say, I guess you're right about I guess you're right about that. In other words, Simplicio has had to explain that his town is smaller than London, so that's why it gets fewer representation representatives. And the second part of this is that proportional, so Sagrado explains what proportional representation is. Simplicio comes back to his question, and then Sagrado points out that his town is large enough that it has one representative. The king wouldn't have had to listen to you at all a few years ago. So now Simplicio recognizes that his argument is, in fact, working, and he has to ask something else. And we would need to fix the end of, of this particular dialogue, but by reversing the argument and making Simplicio argue the wrong side for a change, Simplicio comes to a better understanding, and that means he can ask better questions.